Hey guys, it's Matt here from Automotive Superstore. Today I've got Brad with me from Bendix. Brad was going to take us through a couple of the uh, new range that we've got here today. Brad, do you want to tell us a little bit? I can see a rotor we've got here. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that one? Yeah, thanks very much, Matt, and hi everybody. That uh, rotor is the start of our new range. We've been a brake pad manufacturer for a long, long while. Uh, manufacturing in Australia, we're the only manufacturer in Australia, and it's been a core part of our business. Uh, we are expanding out into new ranges, and part of that range is always going to be around the wheel, anything to do with braking, it's what we specialise in. And that rotor is the start of that. Awesome. I can see here, we just took it straight out of the box and it's got quite a nice shiny sort of coating on it. Do you want to tell us the uh, a little bit about the coating on that That's one? That's fantastic, isn't it? We call it a, a, a swift fit zinc coating. Mm. And what that means is straight out of the box, it will look like that. It doesn't have any contaminants on it. It won't have any rust residue and it can be fitted to the vehicle straight away and used. Beautiful. Yeah, just going off the looks as well for the time being, I can see we've also got a few dimples and, and slots on there. Do you want to tell us something about the, dim the decision to go for the dimples and the slots as well? Thank you. Great question. It's an integral part of our creating this product. Uh, we do a lot of research and development in Australia. We have a large research and development facility in Ballarat and this rotor was designed in partnership with our pads to work as best it can under extreme circumstances and the dimples and the slots are part of that. Okay, nice. I notice here, Brad, if we stay with the aesthetics for a minute, with the slots, you've got a quite a nice symmetrical slot design here that doesn't actually go all the way to the edge of the rotor. Do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, the design behind that one? Yeah, thank you very much. And, and it is a bit unique to us, as you'll see there. That symmetry that you talk about is very important in high-speed braking. Mm -hmm. And so what we tried to do is bring that to the rotor. It's a multi-directional rotor, so you can use it on right or left. You don't have to make a decision as to which side to use it. It just fits to the vehicle and does the job properly. And you're right about those slots there. Mm. They don't go to the edge. What we've tried to do is retain some integrity around the rotor. Mm. So instead of the slot going through and making an opening at the edge of the rotor, which under extreme conditions could be a little bit concerning. So what we've done is we've stopped the slot before the edge of the rotor and we've tried to keep it as solid as possible mm. in the areas it needs to be. Awesome, yeah. So going on that sort of durability uh, aspect that we've got going here to try and make these as durable, uh, as durable as possible, what sort of materials have you guys opted for when, when designing this rotor? Look, it's a high carbon product. It is the standard for the marketplace. The majority of good high performance rotors will be high carbon product and that's exactly what we're using. We wanted to make sure that if it's a high quality product then it meets all the high quality standards that the market expects. Mm. Awesome. So obviously being an ultimate rotor, would you choose the ultimate pad to pair this one with or can you can you pair it with any of the pads that you've got for well, here today? Well, I certainly would. It's a nice synergy, isn't it? I mean, we've got ultimate there and ultimate there, but the, the reasoning behind that is that ultimate is our performance range. So you're matching a performance pad to a performance rotor. Certainly there are other products in our range which will do the job, uh, but from our point of view, it's performance to performance. If you're going to go to the trouble of buying it and fitting it, you want the best result. Yeah, for sure. I notice here we've also got uh, another selection of pads, the heavy duty, the four-wheel drive Euro and the, the general CT. As far as the heavy duty pad goes, for a performance application, what would you say is the biggest difference between the Ultimate and the heavy duty? This will do a great job. There's no question about it. It will work well with the uh, Ultimate rotors. However, it is a little bit different. The Ultimate pad is really designed around the uh, heavy high speed user, someone that will go out and do a track day or something like that. Someone that does a lot of spirited driving on the road. Heavy duty is a little bit different. Heavy duty is designed around the camper, the person that's towing, the person that will load up their, mm. their ute, the tradie, for example, with, mm. with the toolbox and so forth. Heavy duty will do a fantastic job in that application mm. for them. For sure. So for a high sort of stress, high load application, you'd recommend the heavy duty one Correct. for sure. Correct. How how would you say um, the four wheel drive or SUV pad would fare compared to the heavy duty? What's, what's the main differences between those two? How, what sets them apart? Well, look, they're both great pads. There's no question about it, but they are a little bit different. They will do a similar job. Mm. Uh, the four wheel drive though is designed around the situations that a four wheel drive driver will find themselves in. So salt water, mm. dust, dirt, mud, 
all of those contaminants that will get in and affect the braking of a, of a pad. The four-wheel drive SUV pad is designed around that. Yeah, for sure. So if you want to get down and dirty, then the four-wheel drive is the, the one for you. Absolutely. Beautiful. Speaking of, um, we've also got here the Euro Plus um, pad. Now, obviously, a lot of European drivers out there, um, what would set this pad set apart from the other sort of pads that we would have available for European cars? One unique feature for Euro Plus that we're very, very proud of. The biggest problem or the biggest concern for European drivers today is the dust on the wheels. Uh, performance out of a brake pad in a European application is usually very good. So it's the dust on the wheels and there's a lot of it. Mm. There's no question about that. Uh, Euro Plus is designed around a dust free style of pad. So it is very, very low dust. You won't have to clean your wheels every weekend. Beautiful, makes life a lot easier then. Correct. Yeah. I noticed here we've also got the last um, product in the in the pad range, the uh, the General CT, obviously available for, for most vehicles. Why would you say this pad here? I noticed it does actually have a, a little blue stripe across the face of it. Why would you recommend this pad uh, instead of some of the other pads that you brought with you today? Well, this is our good general purpose pad. It is really the core of our range and it does small vehicles to large vehicles and it's the best choice for anybody that's just doing day-to-day -day driving, commuting and so forth. Uh, it, it is a perfect pad. What it does have, there's a number of our products that do, but General CT is renowned for it, and it has that blue titanium stripe. And that titanium stripe means that you can pull it out of the box, fit it to the car, and drive off. You don't have to bed the pad in. So bedding in is a process that all people go through with brake pads. With General CT and a number of other Bendix brake pad brands, yeah. with the titanium stripe, you don't have to bed in. So you eliminate time, you eliminate stress, Great pedal feel and you get on with the job. So ready to roll straight out of the box. Absolutely. That's what we like. I noticed you've also brought here with you today, Brad, a wide range of, uh, of aerosol cans. Obviously, I can see here the blue one, the uh, the old classic, the uh, brake cleaner. Do you want to tell us a bit about, about this legacy item you've got here? Sure. And uh, look, it's been reimagined by our marketing department, so it's more retail savvy now and it looks, it looks beautiful, but it's still the same product inside. And it's been a product that we've had for a long, long time and been very successful with. It does have a high-speed very focused spray nozzle. Mm. It is a little bit unique to our brand. We are very proud of it. It also goes on very easily and, and dries very, very quickly. So it means that you can spray it on the part and then pick up the part straight away and get on with your job. Uh, so it's very safe to touch, even to the point that you sell our brake clean and a rotor wipe. So it's there and available. And again, a very, very yeah, safe product. That's great. So it's nice and safe to touch, easy for people to use at home, and uh, nothing to worry about if you're getting it, getting it on your hands, and, and definitely very safe to use. You're right. right. We'd always recommend that people wear safety that's equipment it. when they're doing their brakes. But if you're done, yeah. you're safe. Beautiful. Um, I've noticed here you've also brought along a degreaser with you. What sets this degreaser apart from most of the other competitors and, and other degreasers you'd find on the market today? Look, I think from our point of view, it, it's this name. So anything with the Bendix name on it, we uh, try and achieve a very, very high standard. We always use high quality products. So in this is a high quality product. It, it is a very, very good degreaser that won't affect paintwork. You can use with confidence around the engine bay and around the vehicle. And mm. we believe that that's what makes this different. Nice. So again, sort of going with the, the safety, easy to use at home, not going to get yourself into too many, too many holes. Correct. I love it. Um, is there any other of these that you'd like that sort of uh, stand out? Any yeah. of these other aerosols that you want to share with us? A bit of a favourite for mine is the tyre shine because who doesn't love clean tyres? Um, this is a very high silicon shine. What that means is you spray it on and it will last a long time. It will look good for a long, long time. A uh, very high quality product again and, and one again that we're very, very proud of. Nice. Awesome. Well, I think that just about sums up all the, all the products we've got here today. So once again, I'd like to thank you, Brad, for coming in and uh, sharing some time with us. What can we expect from, from you guys in the future? Well, it's a great question. And as you can see from this range, it's a very exciting new range and we have lots more coming. As a matter of fact, in uh, in a week or two's time, Matt, we'll be back here talking to you about a brand new product that I think will uh, will surprise a lot of people and, uh, and, and have everybody getting onto your website to get hold of it. Awesome, I love it. Well, thanks again, Brad, for spending some time with us today. I think everyone will have uh, thoroughly enjoyed the range you've shared with us. 
Thank you, again. Thank you very much. Um, for everyone else at home, um, all these products are available on the on our website, Automotive Superstore. And uh, if you guys have any questions regarding them, feel free to leave a comment below, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Too easy. Thanks again, guys. Have a good Thank one. Thank you.